video today. So today I'm going to be telling you about the overview of my 2016 Z51 Corvette. Um, it's a C7 model platform. So basically this is like a, a very, very nice Corvette. A uh, step ahead of the C6 model. I have a seven speed manual. I wanted the manual because I wanted to have that more driver focus. I love it. Like the clutch is very light and I love it so much. Um, steering wheel is all new design with the flat bottom for all 2016 and up models. And you have the red seats with uh, white exterior outside. Okay. And you have your touch screen right here. You could select between either audio, phone, projection settings to where you could uh, check out the driving mode, language, uh, valid mode, aura. So whenever you need to listen to music or whatever like that. Weather, uh, whenever you need to like check on the weather and all that. Uh, and then like uh, PDR, it has a camera right here which uh, records the data of like uh, the video data so let's say if you have um, going to track day or whenever like valet mode you activate that on you can tell whenever like a valet is gonna do something wrong to your car or all that so let's go back that here's the AC vent right here you could switch between your different modes so it's, you could go down to 65 the lowest you could go to let's get out uh, lowest is like <laughs> 60 so you could go back up to 70 right here and if you want your passenger they could have a different setting as well but if you want to have both AC to synchronize there's a sync button right here this is a 2LT package by the way so basically the trim between the difference between between the stingray is that 1LT 2LT and 3LT 3LT being the the, the highest spec option ever I have the 2LT which has the heads up display front and rear camera with the um, the mirror camera right here as well heated cool seat as well with that this this car also had active red matching as well what is active red matching if you're not good with red matching as a manual you could activate that on and then you don't have to like downshift and then uh, press down on the accelerator at the same time it automatically downshifts for you it blimps down to the rpm that you want it to without you like controlling the accelerator or the clutch it's probably one of the best thing ever like with manual these days and with technology progressing like this it's awesome dude it's awesome you see i'm gonna give you a walk through of it this is a 2016 z51 corvette we have the Z51 optional package with also the carbon flash package with uh, basically blacked out everything, blacked out emblem, blacked out. I installed the Corvette Z06 front grille, the Z06 front splitter, side skirt, and also the wicker builder as well because I wanted to have a, that kind of a distinguished look to it. I want my car to be a little bit different from the standard C, uh, Z51 uh, Corvette. But it really does make a difference right here. See, look at that. It's amazing looking. You can hear the exhaust right here. Don't worry. I'll upgrade the... I'll change out the header and the X-Pipe suit. I need to get more louder. So that's the outside right here. Now, I'm going to show you the hood. So... Let's open the door and open the pop up with the hood. So the trunk latches is right here, guys. Right here. And then I'll pop up the trunk as well. Right there. So that way I can show you. So first of all, this is a 6.2 liter V8 that outputs six, uh, 460 horsepower. That is the, uh, the hood right there, where the engine's at. And then if you open the trunk, that's where you're gonna put in the, it's very large. You can see, I can put my hand in here, luggage compartment, you can put a lot of stuff in here, it's really cool. So, 
you guys wondering like if you could put in the this top in the back i'll be able to show it to you watch this now you see it there you go guys check it out we're gonna remove the roof close the door there you go you got a mini convertible and that's where you store the hard top right there when you close it see and also the good thing about it it automatically locks itself so that's pretty cool now if you want to re uh, open it hold this button if you go open it boom there you go and it won't affect the roof whatsoever so close it you can close it hard or you can close it soft depending on how you want it so basically that's how you open it and that's how you get the nice sunroof looking to the car very nice very nice guys and this is how you close the, uh, the front hood just slide it down you want to make sure that this side closed that and that's how you close it so yeah that's uh, basically my overview of my Corvette if I missed out anything just uh, comment down on the section and let me know what I missed out because I'm still basically I'm still new to the Corvette world so I don't know much about it but just let me know uh, I'm here to learn and you know hopefully I'll make some more videos of it thank you